Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at the person in your mind and what they actually want from you. So what are their intentions, what do they want? Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. Use your intuition while listening to this and discern if the messages are actually for you. So when you're listening, take a look at your relationship or the situationship or the connection you're in and compare it to the two. If it doesn't resonate or match up, don't force the messages, then it probably wasn't for you. So let me now take a look at all your crystals and all your piles. So for pile number one, we have this cat's eye, golden cat's eye. And we have the card Clarity with Planning and Releasing Illusion. For pile number two, we have Blue Lace Agate. And we have Grateful Optimism with Joy's View of the Future. And for pile number three, we have Rose Quartz. And we have Opening Heart with Deep Connections and Water Blessings. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Please pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most. But if you're drawn to more than one pile, who knows, maybe there may be more messages for you in those specific piles. So once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this golden cat's eye and the card clarity with planning and releasing illusion, card number five, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do they actually want from you, the person on your mind. So what's funny is, um, I'm hearing from spirits, some of you may have picked this pile specifically to get clarity on your person because as I tapped into the energies of your pile um, I saw the vision of Cinderella and you know when the clock strikes midnight and then you know the magic wore off because the pumpkin carriage turned back into while well, her ride her magical carriage turned back into a pumpkin or something like that. I saw that vision and then when like her dress changed from the ball gown to her normal clothes, I saw that. So I felt the energy of like illusions clearing away. And it's funny because I didn't read the word releasing illusion. Like I saw that vision. Um, so maybe some of you even looking at the bird here. I think that's an eagle if I'm not mistaken. There is this vibe of like you wanting to see things from a more bird's eye perspective of this connection and wanting to gain clarity on what this person's intentions are with you and release any illusions or any doubts about this person or situation. So with the number five, there may be some change that happens from this reading or maybe this person is wanting some kind of change um, and maybe they are already clear on what they want with you with the clarity card. And maybe they have already planned something or they want to plan something in order to change something in your connection and make it more happier 
though that doesn't mean it isn't already happy because I'm just looking at the yellow around the card. Yellow means happiness and joy to me. So I have already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's take a look at what shows up here. So we're going to use the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot, as well as the Muse Tarot. So the first card we have here is a new earth with, with its happening, keep holding the vision. So this card talks about transformation. We have you got the love with Hadarian energy, codependency and boundaries. And my lower back feels really like tight. I don't know if it's my own energy or if I'm feeling the energies of this pile, but it happened like as soon as I was going to do the intro where like I felt like my hips feel tight, almost like, like very stiff. I don't know if I'm feeling someone's energy here. Let me know in the comments if it is. So from this tarot deck, we have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. At the back of this deck, we have Breath of the Cosmos with My Will to Thy Will, micromanaging the universe. So this person is impatiently waiting for some change. And the energy of time is here, just as we saw the energy of the clock striking midnight and the illusion breaking or that spell breaking. Um, there is this energy of time here, like this person waiting for something to happen between the two of you or waiting for some kind of transformation in your connection or growth. At the back of this deck, we have the moon card. And I feel like this is my pile of people that are usually very, very intuitive, usually very connected to their intuition and spot on when it comes to people and reading people and their intentions towards you. But since her hair is covering her eye here and since the moon represents our connection to our intuition as well as our emotions and our subconscious mind, there is an energy here of maybe not being able to see or feeling like your intuition is closed off to this person. It may be that you are very emotionally invested in the connection and that may be why you are feeling, well, you don't have to feel this way, but this is the energy I'm feeling from the energies here. Like you may be feeling a little bit confused or a little bit like I can't really see what my intuition is telling me, maybe like doubting, maybe feeling confused and not being sure of what, what their intentions are or what's going to happen next. Um, and with the moon card, I feel like this energy of maybe even subconscious emotions coming up to the surface where you're not sure if it's intuition or your subconscious mind. I'm seeing another vision for you. So I don't know if this person is a person that loves movies or if you love movies, but I'm seeing a vision of Shrek. And you know when Shrek, I don't know if it's Shrek 2 or Shrek 3. I think it may be Shrek 2 or Shrek 3, but Shrek kind of gets locked up and he's his human self now. Like he took, long story short, he took a potion and he's his human self now and Fiona is also her human self and he kind of gets arrested and locked up with the three blind, the three blind mice came and saved him or something like that and Donkey was there and then Puss in Boots were there, but then they were like different. And uh, in the video, like, they took a video of him getting arrested in that scene. And there, and then in that scene, he's like, no, 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 it's me, it's Shrek, blah, 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 blah. And he's, like, trying to defend himself. So, so later on, the three blind mice actually see that video on the news. And they're like, it's Shrek, we need to go save him. So in that scene, since I'm seeing that specific scene where Shrek is like, no, 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 it's me, it's Shrek. Um, this gives me the impression that maybe this person feels a little bit like you. Like even if you're not saying to them that you don't know what their intentions are or that you're not clear on their intentions, 
it feels like this person and you are very... I'm hearing the word compatible, but that's not the word I wanted to use. Feeling the energies that you two are very closely in tune with each other's energies. With the moon card showing at the back of the deck, it's like there is a sense of unspoken words between the two of you where you two can sort of feel into each other's emotions. You're very, very intuitively connected in this connection. Um, for some of you, this may be a soul connection, a deep, deep, deep soul connection and a very powerful soul connection where your intuitions are strongly linked and it's kind of like this person can feel um, your energy and can feel like you maybe not being clear on what their intentions are and maybe being a little bit confused or doubtful of the connection and it's kind of like I feel like they've been put into this mode where they feel like they need to defend themselves where they feel like they're not in the wrong but they feel like they need to defend themselves do you get what I mean it's kind of like I'm not I haven't done anything wrong but maybe this person thinks I've done something wrong and although they've never said that I've done something wrong or that I have bad intentions towards them, I feel like they're doubtful and they're confused. So this is your person's feelings towards you. And it's like, the love between us is so strong. How can I show you? Like, how can I show you it's not like that? Because it's kind of like this person almost wants to run to you and beg to you and say like, please see what I'm seeing. See that I'm not trying to hurt you I don't have any bad intentions towards you it's kind of like when someone thinks we're doing something and we're not but then the more you try to convince them the more they think you're doing it I feel like that sort of energy here and I'm hearing a song for you so there's a lot of <laughs> um extra information coming through without cards so let's just get the song for you so the song is called Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance by Tyler the Creator. And it's the part, I heard specifically the part where he's like, What makes you think I'm not in love? Uh, something like that. So I think listen to that song, especially the ending part of the song where he starts that part. And he's like trying to invite her in to come dance with her. To come dance with him, sorry. <laughs> and it's like, she's not sure if she wants to. Because, like, she's not sure of him. And I feel this energy between the two of you where this person's like, what makes you think I'm not in love? Maybe this person has some type of intention to communicate with you. But sometimes, like, when they feel the energy is off, because you two have such a strong soul connection... Like I said, they're very empathetic towards your feelings and so are you towards theirs. It's like you two can feel each other's energies and it feels like unspoken words here. Like you're not saying anything, but you two can feel it. And I feel like this person is scared to lose you in a sense that when they start talking, when they actually start talking to them, it feels like it's coming out in the wrong way where you actually start doubting them more. Um, and it's kind of like this person has intentions towards you or actually wants you to see like how much they actually love you, how much they actually don't want anything bad to happen to your connection, how much they don't want to lose you, how much they want you to see maybe what's in their mind and how they feel. It's kind of like I'm seeing a vision of someone hold their hand hold your hand over their heart and be like do you feel my heart do you feel what I feel for you um and I think this person wants to heal or release any doubts from your mind about how they feel because with you got the love here I think all they want to do is love you all they want to do is give you love even with this love letter here they want to give you the right words um the words of love that would soothe you, would soothe your heart and make you feel special, make you feel like you have clarity on what this is and where this is going. So in terms of a new earth here, they want to transform the connection with you 
This is what they actually want from you to transform the connection with you so that there can be growth in the connection so that the connection can always grow, become more stable and balanced, but also transform in the most beautiful way. So let's use your tarot cards. We have the Ace of Cups showing up first. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Talk about serious relationships. This person definitely wants that with you. Because, I mean, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, In when I get those cards in love readings or just in readings in general, like, about connections with people, this is someone having the intention or wanting from you a long-term connection with growth where the connection always grows and grows stronger and stronger and stronger the more you two share your hearts together, the more you two open up your feelings to each other and share the sense of vulnerability together. This person wants unity with you. They maybe even want to have that sense of a long-term connection that is going to last a really long time because when we look at a tree here, we see this big tree and these people standing around a tree together in community, in love, holding each other's hands. And when you think of a tree, a tree lasts a really long time for many, 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 many years. And I feel like this is this person's intentions towards you. This is what they actually want from you. They want growth in your connection where more beautiful roses are growing on this tree. So roses, I take that as love as devotion, sensuality, love, 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 love. I keep getting love. <laughs> and this person wants a happy connection with you where you two can always be like two peas in a pod. It's kind of like, I want us to be partners in a crime, like where we're always going everywhere together, like we're a package deal. And I feel like this person actually intends to give you love. Words of love specifically with the Knight of Cups and the love letter here. Words of affirmation that make you feel safe in the connection and make you feel like something's actually growing from this. However, I feel like sometimes when this person is backed into a space where they don't know what you're thinking or feeling and maybe... They're like assuming you're feeling doubtful. Then they start to get a little bit anxious and then they say the wrong things without intending to. So we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I guess... Oh, two more cards here. Um, <laughs> With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands in reverse, I kind of feel the energies here of like... You know how people are always saying knights and wands play your energy and since the seven of wands in reverse is here, it's like this person doesn't want you to think that they are just a player. This person doesn't want you to just think that they're here for a good time, that they're just here to get something nice from you and leave. This person is here to stay for a long time and since there is a starfish in the middle of your reading in this ace of cups card, I feel the energies of renewal, renewing all parts of the connection that are lost, that are not broken, but that are lost or not damaged. But you get what I mean? Because the reason I say so is because a starfish, you can cut off its um, a part of its body and it will grow back. It will repair. So it's like this person wants to repair the connection with you, all parts that are lost or I don't want to use the word damage, but I'm feeling that word. Um, and wants to swim with you like Nemo. <laughs> um, it's like, you know, the dad and Nemo and Dory. Like, they want to be like Dory and the dad. <laughs> like, I'm seeing it like that with the Ace of Cups. And have some sense of a deep connection together. Where there is a sense of, like, not needing to explain what they're feeling but you feel it in their heart and you feel it while you're around them so here we have the nine of swords in reverse so they want the worries to end um they also want to stop worrying about losing you 
And I guess they want to feel secure in the connection where they feel like, yes, this what I want to create is going to last. It is going to be there. Um, so I guess they are also a little bit fearful of losing out or losing you in general. We have the hang muse. So I feel like with the hang muse, I just heard the words like, I'm here to stay for a long time. Uh, so this is what I see in your reading, my pile. Number ones, I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi, my pile number threes, if you chose this blue lace agate crystal, and grateful optimism with joyous view of the future with card number 51, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do they actually want from you? What are their intentions with you for the person on your mind? So I have already pre-shuffled all your cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's here. So we're going to use the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot, as well as the Muse Tarot. So the first card we have here is Star Family with your part of a team of souls call in support. We have Star Brothers with Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. Such a beautiful card, especially for an intentions reading. At the back of the deck, we have Earth Pulsing with Pulse of the Mother, Slow Down, Time and Nature. Then we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Wands, such a beautiful card for this reading. And then at the back of the deck, we have the Hierophant. This makes me laugh because for most of you, like, I feel a romantic energy. If not, you don't have to take this message. But there is this vibe of sensuality in your reading. I know the Hierophant is usually about learning. I do think this person wants to learn and grow with you because I feel in this person's energy, I feel like they have in the past... Well, you know, you chose the blue lace agates. I feel like this person is probably healing from something in their past. I'm hearing the word trust issues, so I feel like they're healing from trust issues and they're learning to invite in that love and kind of like be open to trusting. I think with the Hierophant, they are learning certain lessons with you, but since the woman was in this very fantasy kind of energy like a teacher being all seductive like that's not real I feel like that's someone's mind and fantasy so this person may have like this person may have specific naughty fantasies about you um in terms of sensuality they may be very attracted to you in that way but I also feel here there's a sense of them wanting to learn by opening up their heart. So this person is definitely part of your soul family because we have the star family card showing up. This is a soul connection. And I guess this person wants to maybe express something to you with the queen of swords. Wants to express a certain type of gratitude for you being in their life because I feel like this person can see a future with you in some way, whether this is a friendship, relationship. Um, and I feel like this person can see, like I said, can see a future with you, can see potential for where you could be in the future, is actually very optimistic for the future and their connection with you. So I see them he being here to stay, to hold on to this connection. And I see them wanting to protect the connection, wanting to keep it alive by continuing to communicate with you, by continuing to talk to you every day, by continuing to share things with you um, about their day and about how things are going and, you know, hear out what you have to say about your day and things like that. What I'm hearing from your guides is they wouldn't lead you astray and this person is loyal to you and absolutely has good intentions towards you. They want to keep the connection safe and they are absolutely a trustworthy person that you can count on. 
I feel like this is the type of person you can lean on. This is the type of person you can count on. You can rely on them. And this is what your guides are telling me right now. That loyalty is a very important thing to this person. And that they have really good values. And you know how you can tell if you can trust a person? Of course, without tarot, without all these psychic things. You know how you can really tell if you can trust a person? Maybe this is not 100% accurate. But with patterning. So when you look at a person's patterns and the way they act... Are they consistent in their actions, not their words, their actions? Are they consistent in the sense of their beliefs, in the sense of their values? If you look at their values and their past and if they did certain things that were not okay in their values, then they are most probably or most likely able to do that again. It doesn't mean people can't change. People can change. People can grow. But... A good indicator of whether someone will stick with you and be loyal to you is by taking a look at this person's values. And I feel like for most of you, this person does have good values. For some of you, if this is not romantic, I feel an energy of friendship here. Or for others of you, I feel this vibe of like this person wanting to be your friend as well as a lover. So let's take a look at your cards. We have the sun card showing up first. So that's a very happy, happy card. <laughs> I'm hearing that TikTok sound that's like, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> we have the page of cups. We have the lovers. We have the magician. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, and I guess this card wants to come out. So we have the Two of Pentacles. At the back of the deck we have the Awakening card, which is the Judgment card. So, Spurge just showed me something, like a funny vision for your pile. <laughs> Spurge first showed me a closed door, and I feel like this is this person maybe first, when they first met you, they were a little bit closed off to love or to friendship or to anything in general, because I feel like this person has been hurt before. They've been wounded before in their heart space, and... I think for them, it's not easy to trust and open up. But when it comes to you, there's this sense of this person feeling like this can be true. Uh, I'm hearing like, do you believe in love? Um, Almost like this person wants to say that to you. <laughs> like, you know, maybe this person felt before they had met you. Like, they couldn't trust, they couldn't open up, but when it comes to you, there's something different about you, where it feels right. Like, this is what I'm feeling from this person, and then, in the funny vision of what Spirit showed me, the door opens, this closed door opens, right? And inside comes a spaceship. <laughs> so, I feel like this person, in their intentions and what they actually want from you, they want to show you the weird sides of them because when I see like aliens and spaceships, the way I see it, because I always call myself an alien, an Aquarius alien, and I'm like, I'm weird, I'm different, <laughs> I'm unique. So maybe this person wants to show their weird, unique, different sides to you that they wouldn't normally show to anyone. They want to show that to you and they want you to show that to them. It's kind of like, let's be weird together. Let's show our weirdness to you. <laughs> and with the awakening card that was at the back of the deck, I kind of felt the vibe from this pile. Some of you have a very witchy energy or some of you have a connection to spirit. Some of you are very intuitive and very connected to those higher realms. And I feel this vibe from you, like, where this person knows that 
they will reach judgment day if they were to do something wrong to you. And I don't think they have any intentions to do that because that's not in their values in the first place. But when it comes to people that may hurt you, I'm seeing someone like click their knuckles. Like I'm seeing spirit show me a vision of, you know, those biker people. And then they're like clicking their knuckles like this and they're like... <laughs> Um, and like they're kind of intimidating so I feel like this person has this very protective vibe over you like if someone were to hurt you um, then that other side of them will come out a side of them they didn't even know they had but the vibe I got from this person going back to my story of judgment day like they know that if they'd hurt you they'd get a lot of karma because there is a sense of like you being very protected in those spiritual realms and I don't know if you and this person like joke about um like let's say someone here this may not resonate for everyone but let's say someone here is like a witch and this person is with you as a friend or a lover well for most of you I feel it's romantic here with the lovers um and you like maybe you've joked like about like, hey, if you ever lied to me or cheated on me, I would do this to you with witchcraft or something. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm feeling that vibe. It may not resonate with everyone, but I'm feeling that vibe for some of you where you jokingly say that. And they're not scared because they know they wouldn't do that. But there is this energy of this person kind of wanting to have certain realizations wanting to heal something within themselves so that they can open up to the love even more so that they don't feel the sense of like I'm pulling away because I'm not trusting I think this person wants to open up and trust and I think this person also wants to take action towards you but they also want you to take action towards them and open up your heart too they want to have a lot of fun with you. They want to create fun moments and memories with you with the sun card and the magician. They want to create this type of energy between the two of you where you two are like doing weird things together, making silly faces at each other, laughing together, smiling together, making really amazing memories together that you can laugh back out on. And like just being silly and weird together like you're the bestest of friends or even if you're lovers it's like this person wants to be friends but also lovers. This person intends to commit to you with the lovers or commit to you in a sense of friendship in a sense where it's like you're my person. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of seeing a vision of you know in school when you have your friend this is for the friends here um you know when you have your friend and so the teacher says you know pick someone to work on this project with and you're looking at that person and they're looking at you and you're like I pick you you're mine <laughs> I see that type of energy um so this is what this person intends to do with you or actually wants from you they, I guess they want that reciprocated form of commitment like that feeling of like you're mine I'm yours uh not in a possessive way but just in a in a sense of committing and being each other's person I think this person sees you as their soulmate or soul tribe member um this person wants a lot of celebratory moments with you wants to reach milestones with you wants to have a long-term fulfilling connection with you with a ten of cups that lasts a long time but not only lasts a long time is fulfilling makes both of you happy where it's balanced it's stable it lasts a long time and what I feel from your connection is they want to take it a little bit slower with you so that it does stay balanced for a long time it's like this person doesn't want to rush with you because they feel like if they were to rush or 
Not really slow down and enjoy the present moments and think too much about the future. Although, although they're optimistic about the future and they know what they want in the future, they're not thinking about that too much because they also want to slow down and enjoy the present moment. So there is a balance here of like seeing the future and wanting this, envisioning the future and being like, this is what I want with this person. But like not worrying about it too much where it's like, are we actually going to stay together? Um, It's more so like, okay, let's stay present in this moment and really enjoy the now, the moment we do have together. I feel like this person also wants to, you know, really create this sense of comfortability where you feel comfortable where you feel safe in front of them, where you feel safe to be yourself and say anything you want to say or do anything you want to do. Um, I'm even feeling like if you were to go to this person's house, it's like they'd want you to feel at home. They want you to feel at home with them in general. And I think this person wants to move towards you and take action with fearlessness and kind of just hope for the best for the future. And of course, you know, create even more beautiful memories with you and continue talking to you and continue talking to you and make sure the connection stays alive by continuing that conversation and always keeping that sense of communication there. So I'm hearing the song The Moment by Skin Shape for you and that's where I'm going to leave your reading. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pal number threes, if you chose this rose quartz crystal, an opening heart with deep connections and water blessings, card number 11, this reading is for you, we're going to be taking a look at what do they actually want from you, so what are their intentions with you, for the person on your mind. I have already pre-shuffled your cards and your oracle cards as well as tarot cards. So we're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot, as well as the Muse Tarot. So let's start with your first card. We have High Wrath with Longing for Home and Homesick for the Stars. We have Cosmic Heart with Devotion, Potency and Make Your Life a Moving Prayer. What I think is so funny is that both of these cards turned out pink <laughs> and you chose the pink rose quartz. That's really, really cool. And you know, pink is the color of love. Pink is the color of unconditional love. So I think that's a really big and beautiful sign and synchronicity. At the back of the deck, we have deep soul healing with physical and emotional healing Arcturus energy. So your angels are actually coming through with these messages about this person, giving you guidance on what this person wants from you. So let's take a look at your other cards. We have the Four of Swords and we have the Lovers. At the back of this deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel from this card, for some of you, you work with this person, or for others of you, this is a person that wants to put in a lot of effort into this connection every single day, because look at all the eight pentacles here. This probably took this woman eight days to make all these pentacles. It probably took a long time. So I, I feel this energy of like this person wanting to graft, this person wanting to put an effort into whatever this connection is um, each and every day in a consistent way. And with the lover's card showing up, you know, for most of you, I feel this is a romant romantic connection. And I love that in this lover's card, they are getting married. So maybe this person does actually want that from you and does actually have intentions to commit in that way to you if you are not already married to this person. Um, 
but there is intentions here of commitment, of love. And if you are not in a romantic connection with this person, we can still take this as this person choosing to commit to you, to be loyal to you in a friendship type of setting, and to be there for you. So let's take a look at your tarot cards. We have the Page of Cups showing up first. We have the Four of Swords again. So this person definitely wants something where you two can always chill together, where you can always be relaxed together. <laughs> we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Muse of Materials, which is the King of Pentacles. And with this Muse of Materials, I definitely feel for some of you, this is like a business partner or someone you work with, or it could be, you know, a romantic situation where you're both working together or having a business together. Or if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to. But I feel that's a specific message for a very few uh, people here. But then for others of you, maybe this is someone you want to do a business deal with or... There is a sense of like equalness here and like it almost looks like they're shaking hands and making some kind of deal or a contract or something like that because I'm also seeing the justice card clairvoyantly so that lets me know this person has honest intentions towards you but maybe there is also some element of legalities here like the law, contracts, things like that. Um, if it doesn't resonate, don't take it but if... If not, with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here, you know, this person, if this is a love situation, you know, they may want to provide to you. They want, may want to, you know, create a lot of abundance in their, in their life, you know, work really hard, build up their finances so that they can always give to you and spoil you so that you can both feel like you have enough more than enough, not just enough, because the Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles are very wealthy people. And I feel like maybe this person wants to build up that sense of wealth so that you can both share that together. Um, the, fe the feeling I get from this person is like, in their intentions towards you, if this is romantic, it's like, I want to get married to you, I want to make a lot of money, but I also want you to be able to have your own passions, hobbies, interests, your own career if that's what you want to do. And then we're going to share our money and we're going to have a joint bank account. And what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. Like I see that happening from this person or this person having those types of intentions towards you if this is romantic. If this is not romantic and it's more of a friendship type of scenario then I see this being a person that wants to build up their money and maybe sees you doing well financially in, or in your career. Since the Queen and King of Pentacles is here and it's like we share. Okay, so one day I take you out for lunch, the next day you take me out for lunch. It's like an equal balance of give and take. So that's the energies I see here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, for those of you where, you know, you are working together or you are business partners with this person or doing some kind of collaboration with this person, you know, this person may want to master that with you. Reach the sense of mastery with you where you're seen as equals. And look here, the Justice card wants to come out. I'm going to include it in the reading. Like, that is not a coincidence. There's an extra card here that fell down with the Knight of Cups. At the back of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. So, the energy I feel from this person, since we have Justice coming out, confirming what we saw about this person having honest intentions towards you, I'm noticing 1111 here. You may be seeing the number 1111 a lot. And there is this energy of, like, this person having an honest intention towards you. So I think that's something you don't have to worry about. Um, the vibe I pick up from this person is like, let's grow together. Let's 
reach higher heights together. Even if you're not a couple reaching the sense of like career things together, even if you're friends, it's like, let's go to the gym together. Let's better our lives together. Let's improve our careers together. Let's reach our goals together. Let's motivate each other. And it's like, they see you as they're equal here with the Muse of Materials because these two people are the same size and they're meeting with their hands touching. It's like, let's listen to each other. Um, I listen to you when you're having a bad day and you're going through certain emotions. You listen to me when we're doing the same. So there's a sense of this person wanting a reciprocal connection with you, wanting to grow together, to rebirth together, to become the best versions of yourself together. Uh, to do a lot of activities together, it's like, um, it's like this person wants to do a lot of activities together, even if you're just going grocery shopping, it's like, can we bond over similar things that we need to do, um, can we be like two peas in a pod almost, doing the same things together, maybe not all the time, but I feel there is a sense of this person wanting to share things with you, even like maybe wanting to share food with you. Um, I think this person's a big giver and they want to share, but they also want that reciprocated in some type of way. And it's not like, okay, I give you 50, you give me 50. It's like, okay, when you're low to get today, I'll give to you. And when I'm low, I'll, you know, expect the same in return. I think this person really longs for the sense of, you two to feel like family, you two to feel like a home to each other, but not in a super codependent way. It's almost like I devote myself to you, you devote yourself to me. And we're going to open up our heart to each other, create this deep connection together. And I think this person has longed for a person like you their whole life in terms of whatever this connection is, whether this is friendship, business, love, romantic. It's like this person has longed for this type of connection their whole life. They feel like you are very similar to them or have a similar way of thinking or feeling to them. And it's kind of like they want to make decisions with you where you're making decisions together as a team. So this person sees you as like you two are working together in a team and you two are going to create the success together, you two are going to create new paradigms where you reach your potentials together, where you reach where you're both meant to be in your purposes together, where you reach the sense of building your world around you, okay? I'm seeing this person wants to grow with you, but this person also respects you enough where they also want you to speak up for yourself in case any situation is not going the way you want it to. They want this connection to feel relaxed, to feel flowy, to feel like you feel safe and comfortable with this person. And this energy is emphasized with the Four of Swords showing up twice. If this is a friendship or a relationship or even business partner, but business partner I'll explain in a moment. If this is a friend or relationship, I feel them wanting the connection to feel very chilled where it's like you two can go to each other's homes in your pajamas and there's no judgment there. Where you lie on the couch together and you're not speaking really, but you know, it's a comfortable silence. It's not awkward. Where you two just feel comfortable in front of each other, where you can be your messiest selves, where you can be silly, where you can be yourself, your true self, even like not brush your hair, <laughs> have your hair in a messy bun for my woman or, you know, eat in the most ravenous way and not give it <laughs> what the other person's thinking. Like, of course, maybe I'm not going to extremes here, but like, this is what spirit is showing me in like little visions um, of like what this person wants. It's almost like this person wants you to just feel comfortable in front of them, to just be your raw, messy self. Um, and if this is a re relationship type of vibe, I feel the the vibe from them is like, they don't even care if you're like a woman watching this. They don't even care if you wear makeup or 
if you wake up in the morning next to them and you know like you have morning breath it's kind of like they just want you to be you in your most natural form and that's not to say you shouldn't wear makeup or anything but it's kind of like they just want you to be comfortable around them uh they want you to feel safe around them uh they want you to feel heard and loved around them and I feel with the Knight of Cups, they want to always give you their love in in a way where it's like, I'm always showing you love as if we have just met. Um, if this is a relationship, it's like, I always want to flirt with you and keep the romance alive. If this is a friendship, it's like, let's do fun things together where it feels like we have just become best friends or just become friends. So with the page of cups in the middle of your reading, we see this heart shining out. And I feel like this correlates to the opening heart card with deep connections and water blessings. Um, I forgot to talk about the business thing with the four of swords, sorry. <laughs> with the business thing, I, I feel like if this is a business partner or some type of business relationship, um, it's kind of like this person wants to feel comfortable in front of you, like you guys can go to each other's house and have a meeting there or be on a, like a video call and have a meeting there and not have to like worry too much, you guys can talk about anything. Um, of course they would still want to keep it professional with you, but they want to keep it a little bit more casual, more chilled. So I guess this is what I see in your reading, my pile number threes. I really hope this reading resonated. Um, by the way, I just heard someone's battery go flat. <laughs> That's so random. And in the beginning of the reading, I, I felt like someone's neck here hurt. Okay, anyways, um, I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!